Each and every one of us is affected by the current pandemic. However, COVID-19 is hitting women particularly hard. Why? Because 70% of the healthcare workers are women. Because the global gender pay gap is stuck at 16%, leaving women more vulnerable to economic downturn. Because women's health care, including sexual and reproductive health, is harder to access as resources are diverted. Because domestic violence has increased by upwards 25% in some countries as a result of lockdown. Because women already do three times more unpaid care work as men, with 850 million children around the world home from school, women are overloaded. Because women's jobs are at risk. Among G7 countries, women make up 88% of the hard-hit services industry. And globally, 60% of women's employment is in the informal sector, with few protections against dismissals and limited access to social protection. When it comes to gender equality, we cannot afford to lose ground. At the current pace, it will take about 257 years to close the economic gender gap. We will remain alarmingly underrepresented in leadership and decision-making positions across sectors and geographies. Less than 7% of countries are led by women, and only 6% of Fortune 500 company CEOs are women. It should come as no surprise that for every three men quoted in media coverage of COVID-19, only one woman is quoted. Research shows that more diverse teams make better decisions. According to a meta-analysis published by IHC, women's representation in leadership positions not only boosts profitability, it boosts sustainability. Gender-inclusive leadership is more important than ever. To effectively respond and recover from the COVID-19 pandemic and to get on track to deliver on the sustainable development goals, women must be at the table. The UN Global Compact calls all businesses to strive for gender balance, establishing clear target, action plan and accountability measures. At a minimum, companies should secure at least 30% women in top management and on supervisory boards. And as an immediate action, companies should ensure that women are included in all COVID-related planning and decision-making processes, including executive task forces and emergency response teams. To support participants, the UN Global Compact has launched Target Gender Equality, an accelerator program to help companies create inclusive workplaces, break down barriers to equality, and achieve ambitious targets. Participants will learn about implementing the women empowerment principles, which provide guidance to business on how to empower women in the workplace, in the marketplace and community, even in times of uncertainty. This year, target gender equality will take off in 19 countries around the world, hosted by Global Compact local networks and with insights and support from global and local experts. While we are all navigating uncharted waters, one thing is certain. To build back better, we must build back more gender inclusive. Together, we can disrupt gender stereotypes and show that leadership and decision making should be shared responsibilities. Let's jointly accelerate progress towards a gender equitable future. In times of crisis and beyond, Please join us and target gender equality.